The compost chicken queens, what, what? A little drop there. I'm good with that. This little guy has <coughs> called stargazing or selenium deficiency, called dry neck. I put a little bit of stuff on my on that spot in my hand. And then dip the weekend. See, drinking. A little bit more. Oh! It's a little awkward because they're so small. Mm. But you can get a little, a little couple drops on your hand. <laughs> Just dip their beak in and they drink. And I usually keep doing that until they start panting. So I think it, he's probably full. He had looked like he was doing well. I got him like two days of this and he seemed to be acting more or less normal and then I found him all flipped out on his back again. I'm like, oh, I guess that was a little too soon. And that was after putting stuff in the water. But then I took it out because you have to replace it because it gets yucky. So I have to just keep doing it, put it in their water. Just get the tiniest, tiniest bottle and put it in there for all of them. And then he gets it off. You don't want to try to stuff this down their neck because you could drown them. You could put it in their lungs by accident. So instead, you gotta kind of passively get it into their mouth and they'll swallow it themselves. Plus, they're just so small. I mean, you could kill them pretty easy. Took about two days. <clears throat> two days over a couple hours. I don't do it at night because I figure I need some sleep. And they're not burning many calories that way, but I could do if I'm awake in the night, I might do it anyway. Oh no, oh no, oh no. So you can, it's, oh, what are you doing? Yes. Not, you're not going to be for breeding purposes at all. No, just a pet. None of the other ones out this from, so this could be genetic. And you don't want to read that. It's not fun for anyone. Yeah, you're pretty tired too, aren't you? It's good to have a second set of hands for this. Thank you, David. Mm hmm. No problem. <clears throat> and like I said, I just keep. Filling that spot, my hand. It's a handy little container. And dip the beak in. It's not panting yet, so I probably could use a bit more. I'm gonna fill them up as much as possible, then they can coast longer too. And they don't like to be handled that much, so you don't want to stress them out. They're not very tame. They've been domesticated as long as chickens or as much, so. Gotta be careful not to stress him out. But he's also used to being handled now because I've been doing this every day for like two, three days, and then he was in the in this cage with his buddies for another day or two, and then seemed fine. But then woke him up, woke up, and there he was doing that weird again. Come on, I'll put him in the in the container soon so you can see what it looks like when he's not being held. Usually it's either a neurological problem, like they hurt their head, 
or it's genetic, in which case you can't do much at all. I mean, you can't do much if it's, pro if it's vet. Neurological from damage. They could just, they may grow, they may heal, or they may not. This one you can fix with the selenium. And vitamin E helps the selenium absorb. You can get selenium from blackstrap molasses without the sulfur or brewer's yeast or what's the other kind of yeast? Good tasting yeast. And um, the vitamin E you can get in a number of different things. For me it was the, I got some poultry vitamin mix and mix that all together. And see what he's doing. Okay, a little bit more. As you can see, he's not holding his neck right. That's not him trying to get away. That's him not having problems, not having control of his neck because of the nutrient deficiency. I don't know what it does to him, but that's what it. Any bird can get this, I've heard. Ducks can get it. Oh, come on now. Ducks can get it. Chickens can get it. I think I've heard of others like. Hen or pea hens, like I'm not pea hens, but uh, peacocks. Yeah, I think he's probably done now. So I can see how his neck is all twisted up. That's not right. He shouldn't be doing that. So I'm gonna put him back in the box so he can rest, and digest the food. Another bonus of having the molasses is they can't eat very well, so it gives them a little bit of nutrients. And between the vitamins and the sugar in them, in the see that's that's part of the ren the wry neck because they, they can't walk properly. Their neck is all twisted funny. They look up like they're, they're see that's not right. So yeah, gonna have to come back a little bit later fill you up a bit more. In the meantime, keep him in a nice small little place where he feels safe, but it's plenty of air. And we'll do that later. Compost chicken queens plus, in this case, a quail, a button quail. And see you later. Bye.